They aren't transparent. Worries have been bubbling up now for more than one year. They are not acting in the best interest of teachers. Now, concerns over what's going on with the state teachers' retirement system have reached a boiling point. Suing us, investigating us, I guess I'll call it a sham investigation. I doubt this case would have been brought um, if there had not been um, things that ought to be explored. We've been hearing from you on the phone, email, messages, in person. I had a Facebook message during the newscast yesterday. They all ask that we stay on top of and help explain the legal wrangling surrounding the STRS board. Attorney General Dave Yost is suing to remove two board members, saying they're, they're failing to protect pensioners' money. Tonight, Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow gets answers to those questions. The STRS situation is complicated, so I'm taking your questions and breaking down what we know so far. Amanda from Cleveland asked us over social media, can you simplify this whole situation? We can try with help from legal expert Eric Chafee. They want to make sure that their retirement's keeping up with uh, what their cost of living is going to be in the future. But certainly what's going on with the attorney general at this point, we're likely to see uh, some pretty substantial allegations of misconduct. There's a fight between how the state teachers retirement system should invest money through the current system of actively managing funds versus an index fund. Active funds try to outperform the stock market while index funds typically perform with the stock market. Chafee explains that more people are being elected to the board that are in favor of an index fund. But attorney general Dave Yost just filed a lawsuit to remove two board members who called themselves reformers. We had more than a dozen viewers ask us the same question. Why is this happening right now? There are two answers to that. I'm hoping that with the change that, you know, maybe we'll get our COLA eventually. Over the past few years, STRS has lost billions in investments, restricted the cost of living adjustment, or COLA, and increased the years that educators must work to get pension. This has led to the reformers fighting for change and transparency on how and where the money is spent. This all happened as the STRS staff members got $10 million in raises. But Jody from Cleveland asked about the timing of the lawsuit. We have strong evidence of that. There was serious dis discussion about taking two-thirds of the money uh, and putting in a very, very untested uh, program. Last week, Yo started an investigation after anonymous documents allege that two board members, Wade Steen and Rudy Fichtenbaum, have been doing the bidding of private investment group QED. According to the suit, the firm asked board members for $65 billion so that they could allegedly restore the COLA. Steve from Cincinnati asked us, what's the problem with QED? Anytime that you have a financial interest um, in a business that's doing um, or conducting affairs with the pension plan, that's a problem. Yost accuses QED of colluding with board members to hijack the pensioner money called contract steering. The firm has no clients and no track record. You can ask more questions by messaging me personally using our website or app. At the STRS board, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.